Jeffrey Wright hunts killer wolves but encounters something far more terrifying in the trailer for Netflix's upcoming thriller, Hold the Dark, the movie, which is the fourth feature film directed by Jeremy Salnier overall, will premiere at the Toronto International Film Festival a couple weeks before it begins streaming. In September, adapted from William Giraldi's novel by actor, writer Macon Blair, I don't feel at home in this world anymore. Hold the Dark Stars right as Russell Corr, a retired wolf expert who is hired to locate a six-year-old boy in the Alaskan wilderness. After the boy's mother, Maydora Sloan, Riley Keough, says he was taken by a pack of wolves. However, when Maydora's husband Vernon, Alexander Skarsgård, returns from his military tour in Iraq and learns what happened. Kor is forced to confront an evil far more horrifying than wild animals living at the edge of the world. You can watch the first trailer for Hold the Dark in the Space Above. Related, Chris Pine fights for Scotland in Netflix's Outlaw King trailer Wright, Keo, and Skarsgård, the stars of HBO's Westworld. Stars is the Girlfriend Experience Season 1 and Big Little Lies, respectively are joined in Hold the Dark by a supporting cast that includes James Badge Dale, Only the Brave, and Savonis Bracklin, Yellowstone, among other seasoned character actors. Blair also plays a smaller role here. Much like he in Sal Nier's three previous films as director, Murder Party, Blue Ruin, and Green Room, Netflix further unveiled a poster for Hold the Dark this past week. As you can see below, while Sal Nier has yet to become a mainstream name in horror thriller filmmaking, his previous directorial efforts, especially the revenge crime tale Blue Ruin and Punk Rockers vs. Nazis thriller Green Room, have all become cult favorites among genre enthusiasts. After being widely praised by critics, judging by its hauntingly atmospheric and otherwise creepy trailer, Hold the Dark should both play equally well with Saul Nier's fans and help to earn the director some new followers, thanks to its chilly Heart of Darkness-style narrative. Plus, because it's going straight to Netflix, Hold the Dark will be more widely available and otherwise easier to watch than Saul Nier's previous films, all of which were limited releases. Speaking of Netflix, between Hold the Dark, Alfonso Cuarón's autobiographical drama Roma, and David Mackenzie's Scottish war epic Outlaw King. The company's fall 2018 original movie lineup is looking pretty dang impressive at the moment. Those aren't the only promising titles on Netflix's docket for the next four months either. What with films like the Coen Brothers western The Ballard of Buster Scruggs also on the horizon and due to receive a trailer any day now. In the meantime, film buffs will have a better idea of whether Hold the Dark is worth the early buzz or not pretty. Soon, following its screening at this year's TIFF event, Source, Netflix tags, Hold the Dark looking for an AD-free experience on screen rant.